There's only one thing that matters when it comes to success, self-reliance. See, if there was a single emotion that success was made out of, everyone who's had success has discovered that emotion, that feeling inside, and that feeling is self-reliance. When you finally feel like I don't need anyone or anything else, I've got 100% of what I need to succeed right here with me, I have it all, that's when you succeed. And uh, you know, oftentimes people feel like a victim uh, and they feel like they can't succeed because they try and they try and they try and they try and they try so hard, but nothing ever works. No one ever gives them the chance, no one helps them, there's no mentors, there's no leg up, there's no connections, there's not enough money, there's not enough this, there's not enough that. You didn't have enough resources to succeed, right? And Tony Robbins talks about uh, resources and he's like, you didn't have the resources you need. He's like, no, you didn't have the resourcefulness of you videos, right? But that's because it was one of my favorite quotes of him ever. And it was really, really powerful when he said it. It's not the resources that you need that's causing your failure, the lack of having that. It's actually the lack of resourcefulness. And um, I've thought for a long time though, okay, what does it mean to be resourceful? right? How can I tell you to be resourceful? And then you use that insight to go achieve the resources that you need. I've never found that that translated well. And I think that there needs to be a new understanding on what it takes to succeed on what resourcefulness is made out of. And I believe that what it's made out of intrinsically that emotion, the feeling inside when you are being resourceful. It's very important to understand what it feels like because success is so much more about, you know, like there, there's so many geniuses in the world and most of them are not successful. Most of the uh, genius level IQs are, are, are failures traditionally, like by traditional standards in life. Um, in fact, I actually used to live next to one, a neighbor of mine uh, is this guy and he, he was like this genius and he failed at everything because he had zero emotional intelligence and it's emotional intelligence that uh, determines your success or not. And the emotion, the feeling inside of what it looks like and feels like to succeed is called self-reliance. That feeling that you realize I'm all alone. It's when you finally realize that you're, you're at the middle of the mountain, you're all alone, there's no going back and it's only you that can go up. That is when you succeed. That is what it takes. And that, my friend, is what it feels like to have self-reliance. Self-reliance is what you need if you want to achieve anything, if you want to be a leader, if you want to have success that's yours. All it takes is you grab onto that self-reliance and you grab onto that and you feel not bad, not sad about being alone, not like overwhelmed by the understanding that you have all of the responsibility of the complete failure that might be. That's 100% your fault. And once you realize that and you feel that inside, that conviction and that depth of responsibility and ownership is what it takes to grab onto the feeling of self-reliance and finally make it succeed, make it work. This is paramount that you understand this. This is an incredible understanding. Use this dominate the world, you go succeed. Have that self-reliance. Realize you are on the mountain, in the middle. You can't go back if too far you've come. And no one's gonna help you keep going up because you've gotten too high up for everyone else. And it's only you. It just takes you. Just 